Hey guys, welcome to Technical Alpha Male YouTube channel. My name is Kiran and today we are going to discuss about the story behind init and system D. Why init needed to be replaced with system D in Linux? Yeah, so let's get started. So in this video, we will discuss and solve following all queries one by one. So what is init? What is system D? Why init needed to be replaced? What features system D will own, right? So what is init? In Linux, init is abbreviation for initialization. The init is daemon process which start as soon as the computer starts and continue running till it is shut down. In fact, init is the first process that starts when a computer boots, making it the parent of all the computer all the running processes directly or indirectly and hence typically it is assigned PID is equal to 1 if somehow init daemon could not start no process will be started and the system will reach a stage called kernel panic init is most commonly referred to system v init system v is the first commercial unix operating system designed and usage of init on most of the linux distribution of today's identical with system vos with few exceptions like slackware using bsd style and gento using custom init now the need to replace init with something more perfect was felt from a long time and several alternatives were developed from time to time some of which become distributions native init replacement so for example some of which are upstart which is a native replacement of init in ubuntu epoch mudar and system d a init replacement daemon designed to start processes implemented in standard distribution fedora OpenSUSE, RHEL, CentOS, etc. Right? So, what is system D? Now we have seen what is in it, and now it's time to see what is system D. A system D is a system management daemon named with Unix convention to add D at the end of the daemon so, so that they can be easily recognized. Initially, it was released under GNU general public license but now the releases are made under GNU lesser general public licenses similar to init system D is the parent of all other processes directly or indirectly and is the first process and that start at the boot hence typically assign PID 1 a system D may refer to all the packages utilities and libraries around a daemon it was designed to overcome the shortcomings of init Obviously, if you are replacing something with something something other, so it must be better than the previous thing, right? So a system D, it was designed to overcome the shortcomings of init. It itself is the background process, which is designed to start processes in parallel. So I am I'm emphasizing on the word parallel. So it itself a background process which is designed to start a process in parallel thus reducing the boot time and computational overhead it has a lot other features as compared to in it right let's move to the next slide why there was a need to replace in it so this is a most important topic for the discussion so be be very careful during the discussion okay so why there was a need to replace init a init process start serially that is one task start only after the other task startup was successful and it was loaded in the memory why there was a need to replace init a init process start serially that is one task start only after the last task startup was successful and it was loaded in the memory this often resulted into delayed and long booting type this often resulted into 
delayed and long booting time however system d was not designed for speed but for getting the things done neatly which in turns avoid all the unnecessary delays right so so the conclusion is anything running as pid 1 must not break must not break anything running as a PID 1 must not break must not mess and must not controlled by users effectively and efficiently many many users believe that replacing init for the system D is nothing more than reinventing the wheel every time as a side effect of Linux but this is diverse nature of Linux this is because Linux is much powerful change is good and we must appreciate it if it is for good reason that's all for now okay but if there if there is a change the change change will always be associated with controversy right controversy right so what was the controversy during this replacement so Linus Todd Todwell, a founder of Linux, chief architect of Linux kernel, feels attitude of key, de key developer of system D towards the users and bug reports do not seem okay. It was also reported that system D philosophy is weird and a foreign way to control system processes. The same has been recorded for Patrick Volkerding and other notable Linux users and developers as well over online forum time to time. So that's all for now. I will be here again with another interesting video you people will love to read. Till then, stay tuned and connected to Technical Alpha Male YouTube channel. Don't forget to provide us with your valuable feedback. Thank you.